Hello, everyone. So this is one Seagate pension hard drive data recovery case study. And after entering the DFS Seagate firmware repair software, we can see that this drive has partial sector access problem. Now, uh, we have uh, cleared end list. Now we can check within the COM terminal and we find the entries becomes zero. And now uh, we can clear the V4, a clear genist, and then we can try to uh, clear smart. Now, smart clearing, OK. We come back to F3T prompt. And we run the translator regeneration. And we can check the V4 to views and the list entries. Now we check the data arrow to see if the partial sector issue has been fixed or not. Uh, we can use 900. So this LBA address is very close to the ending LBA. So this is the ending part LBA arrow. So we can check. OK, so this drive is fixed. The partial sector access problem has been fixed. Now we can go to the uh, DFL DDP. So this is SATA2. Okay, so we remember uh, SATA2. This client is from Bangladesh. SATA2. So we select this channel and click DFL DDP. Click this DDP icon. So usually after we fix the firmware issue within the Seagate firmware repair software, then we just go to the DFL DDP and we can set up one new project for disk image or direct file extraction. Now we select a new project, click next. OK, let's see if we can find the lost partitions back. There are some bad sectors in the front, so it's slow to detect and list the lost partitions. We can check the log window, and we can see the arrow. Now we can see the partitions have been detected here. Then users can double click to view the data inside. Now users can select the wanted files and right click, right click, and users can save the files. So this one is very easy now to recover. So this is how we use the DFL, OK? How we use the DFL Seagate firmware repair software and DFL DDP data recovery software to get the data back. So it's very easy and fast. So this drive originally have have the 
firmware corruption have the partial sector access problem. Now we just fix the firmware issue and now use the DFDDP to recover the lost partitions and folders and files.